For thousands of years, humans have been looking up to the stars. Just outside of our blue marble are mysterious objects just waiting to be discovered. Every year, scientists make incredible discoveries in regards to celestial objects. With the advent of new technology, it's enabled us to make new discoveries at a much faster rate than before. The Hubble is the first optical telescope to be placed in space. Over the years, scientists have used Hubble to observe the universe and distant planets, and this has allowed us to study objects that we didn't think existed. The Hubble explores the universe 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, and it's operated by a team of specialists on the ground. Many people were excited when NASA announced that a black hole had been discovered that shouldn't exist. This caused researchers to question current theories on the universe. This new report states that this black hole is approximately 250 million times heavier than the Sun, and it can be found at the center of the spiral galaxy NGC 3147. One thing that NASA has come forward and said is that based on current astronomical theories, the disk shouldn't be there. But because of this disk being so close, it gives scientists and researchers a chance at testing Albert Einstein's theory of relativity. One of the researchers said the following about the discovery. We thought this was the best candidate to confirm that below certain luminosities, the accretion disk doesn't exist anymore. What we saw was something completely unexpected. We found gas in motion producing features we can explain only as being produced by material rotating in a thin disk very close to a black hole. This discovery was published in the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society. Lead author Stefano Bianchi went on to say the following. The predictions of current models for gas dynamics in very faint active galaxies clearly failed. NASA went on to say that this black hole in particular is malnourished and that this is because there is not enough captured material to feed them regularly. Further saying that the observed thin haze of infalling material puffs up rather than flattening out. Another researcher said the type of disk we've observed is a scaled down quasar that we did not expect to exist. It's the same type of disk that we've seen in objects that are 1000 or even 100,000 times more luminous. And as mentioned, the predictions of current models for gas dynamics in very faint active galaxies clearly failed. NASA ended by saying that they hope to use the Hubble telescope to hunt for similar compact disks. One thing that people may not be aware of is that black holes are very hard to observe. This is because no light can escape from them and so they're invisible. One way we know where these black holes are is by watching the behavior of things close by. This is because black holes have a massive effect on nearby matter. Researchers have recently managed to find out that gravitational waves have been sent out from a black hole. Our universe holds a massive amount of galaxies along with an even more countless number of mysteries. Over the years, black holes have caused much speculation in the scientific community. Though these findings have made scientists question the very nature of reality, these incredible discoveries of supermassive black holes have helped us to better understand the true nature of our universe. Recently, astrophysicists come forward and said that they've detected mysterious gravitational waves. It was then put forward that these were created by a black hole when it collided with a neutron star. The theory behind black holes was more than just shrouded in mystery, and it was not until a man by the recognizable name of Albert Einstein helped humanity to realize that space and time are interwoven and connected in something we refer to as the fabric of space-time. The mathematical theory of mass then being able to stretch and distort this fabric, similar to that of a rock resting on a cloth led to an innovative idea. When the scientists picked up on gravitational waves, they stated it can allow them to study astronomical events occurring in the universe. The researchers said that what they were seeing was the merging of a black hole and a neutron star. At the moment, more study is needed, but if this can be confirmed, it's thought this could help us to confirm that black holes and neutron stars can coexist in a binary system. One of the researchers said the following about the event. It's like listening to somebody whisper a word in a busy cave. It can be difficult to make out the word or even be sure if that person whispered at all. 
What some people may not be aware of is how big these black holes are. For example, there is a black hole that's known as SDSSJ, and this black hole is so massive that it's more than 12 billion times the mass of our sun. Researchers began to wonder how could such a large singularity form if our universe is believed to be only 13 billion years old. Today, the black hole continues to be one of the largest, youngest black holes out in space, and is believed to be even larger in nature if we were to visit it. However, given the distortion of space and time, it would be another 13 billion light years before any information could catch up and show us its true size today. This black hole, however, is incredibly far away. One light year is around 5.8 trillion miles or 9.5 trillion kilometers. So it's fair to say we won't be able to get near it any time soon. Another interesting discovery is that of the Hand of God. Referred to by astronomers and astrophysicists as PSR B150958, this celestial anomaly is believed to be a roughly 1,700-year-old pulsar that was first discovered back in 1982 by the Einstein X-ray Observatory. It used then state-of-the-art X-ray technology to locate the pulsar, and take strange images of the entity that is noted as being more than 17,000 light-years away. At the time, pulsars were relatively unknown objects, that were small rotating dense masses that would emit radio waves and pulsating bursts that were otherwise impossible to explain. It took researchers years before they realized that such objects were formed as the consequence of a star imploding on itself, forcing its electrons and protons to form neutrons that would increase the mass density so large that a single sugar cube of the mass would weigh over 100 million tons. As the star implodes, its rotational speed increases, causing the formation of a massive amount of radio waves, as its rotational period emits pulses of such radio waves out in space. It was due to these discoveries that the Einstein Observatory had originally believed that gathering the visual data of the pulsar would prove to be more than enough information to help astronomers better understand the complex movements of pulsars and what can be expected from them in the future, including the rates in which they emitted radio waves and how they were formed. Oddly enough, it appears that the information gathered by the observatory only helped to make the anomalous pulsar far more anomalous. Shortly after data was gathered surrounding the PSR, the object ended up being renamed to the Hand of God, as X-ray images showed what appeared to be a massive hand stretching out from the pulsar and forming a cluster of radio waves. The hand-like structure was so mysterious that NASA experts had a hard time piecing together the projected math that would have caused such a formation to have occurred naturally. Additionally, it appeared that the pulsar was still relatively young, only 1,700 years old, and resting only 17,000 light years away. No new information surrounding the strange pulsar can be gathered, and it appears that not much more can be understood until further data can be achieved. How the Hand of God forms still remains a mystery to this day. As of today, researchers have done a great job at unraveling some recent cosmic discoveries. However, there are still many out there that are waiting to be answered. Not all of these revolve around the search for alien life. For example, back in September 2019, a groundbreaking discovery was made by researchers working at the Imperial College of London and the National Astronomical Observatory of Japan. They have discovered the oldest known galaxy cluster in the universe. The researchers have found a galaxy cluster that is 13 billion light years away from us. This means this galaxy cluster is 13 billion years old, and the scientists are currently observing its 13 billion year old physical form. So what do you make of these incredible and mysterious space discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries.